Uh, the U.S. Postal Service is on alert tonight. At least two bombs have made their way through the mail and one landed on the steps of a California police officer. And CBS 2's Andrea Fujii is live in Studio City with new information on those bombs. Andrea. Well, Pat, this is the holiday season where lots of, be, lots of packages will be sent out in the mail, but now two people have been injured after package bombs were detonated right after postal workers delivered them. A postal carrier reportedly hand-delivered the latest bomb to a front door on Friday because the 11-inch package was too big to fit in the mailbox. It was a home of an off-duty police officer in Alameda, outside San Francisco. Sources say when the officer's wife opened it, she thought it looked suspicious, so she threw it, and that's when the bomb exploded. She suffered minor burns and ear trauma. Investigators believe that bomb was made by the same people who sent a bomb on October 19th in East Palo Alto. A father was injured when he opened it. The package was sent to his son, who has the same name. The U.S. Postal Service says somehow these two bombs made it through their screening process. It's very serious. It's a serious federal offense. That's a violation of 18 U.S.C. 1716, and we've got a whole task force of people working on it. Experts say these bombs could have been made to explode right when someone opens it. Some of them are not very sophisticated, but there's always some sort of footprint left as how this device was made. It's not clear why these people were targeted. In the meantime, postal inspectors are warning people to call them or 911 if they receive a package that looks suspicious. And investigators are now trying to reconstruct the mailing label of the latest package bomb to see if they can figure out which post office it came from. They'll then look at their security video. So far, there are no reports of any package bombs here in Southern California.